you know I got it I pull up, I come round, make my rounds, it's my town I, You know I got it, ayy When I'm round, they shh now, what's up now, this touchdown like, Ayy, Nick from City be hating them Nick, so show me no love ay, it is what it is. Look at my whole way, what the hell? That's scary as hell all right, I'm driving to the co-working space right now and I'm going to a different one today, one that gave me a little more time to drive because luckily my um, my charger in my car isn't acting crazy today. Typically, it, it not typically, but whenever I need it, it seems to not work, but we're in action right now. I'm mostly annoyed right now because if you saw my last vlog, you saw that I have a lot of uh video work due tomorrow on monday and i still had filming to do for a couple of them and that's just like ruining my my situation because the sun is setting i don't know if you can tell it probably looks like it's not this oh this is my turn oops the sun is setting right now so i can't start now and hope that i get done in time for uh before the sun sets it's gonna set in the middle of me doing this oh ain't nobody here Ew. and then it's like i don't want to do all the filming tomorrow because then i also have to edit and submit tomorrow like no so i don't know i'm gonna try to i'm gonna upload real quick and then i'm gonna try to plan as much as possible for the rest of my videos luckily i don't think i have any well it's monday i, I don't typically have meetings on monday so no meetings or nothing tomorrow that I needs to prep for i just want to be in my house but my house don't want me this is blowing mine i haven't eaten since breakfast like i said um it's sunday by the way so i was supposed to do i didn't get to do my weekly dinner all week so now like that's not happening i just why 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 <laughs> Question, tell me what you think about me I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring your belly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please get up and leave Question, tell me how you feel about this Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed Pay my own funnel and I pay my own bills Always 50-50 in relationships Ooh, jump scare. When did I last pick up the camera? I don't even know. I've been experiencing a lot of bed rot, so you know a little tiny update while i rush i remember yesterday was my mom's birthday happy birthday to her it was the first day of her birthday so we'll be celebrating until the end of time um my mom's birthday is august 22nd last year we had a celebration october 16th it'd be like that anyway um yesterday we went to i think we were in delanaga we were far away about an hour and a half two hour drive for lunch i'm thinking we're i thought we was just going to lunch and then we drove to another state <laughs> basically to me in my uh perspective we went to a winery her favorite winery had lunch and then we came back food was banging oh, i'm about to eat that you got on um a, a Tabitha gown. And this is from Kenya, a Kenyan designer. It's a good one piece, so I could be super casual and super dressed up. I just want to say on my birthday that I have my only daughter, the only human on this planet who calls me mommy, and the only person on this planet who calls me boss. And happy birthday. Thank you guys. I love you. I love you. More, more to come. More to come. Cheers. Cheers. More to come. I had a lobster bisque pasta. I just learned what a bisque was. I had no idea. Had a good time. Tomorrow we're going to go to this event I saw on Yelp. And then I'm going to give her, you know, some birthday stuff. The gift that I got her which I will show y'all tomorrow. Well, I'll show y'all the process of me because I didn't like assemble it. Not assemble it. You know you know how I do. I gotta make the presentation, basically. Right now, I'm rushing because I have multiple things to do. I have to be on camera and I have deadlines. I just submitted um, a creative update to a client. I anticipate meeting with her today. My schedule this week, everything just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and things were overlapping and 
making me have to move things to other days. Um, earlier this week, I was I was meant to send this creative review on Wednesday, but I didn't like anything that was there. Like I woke up on Wednesday and looked at it like I always do, um, just to make sure it all is there and I know what I'm about to talk about. And I was like, ew. So I sent her an email and was like, honestly, like, do you mind giving me another day because I'm not confident in this. I don't even want to show you this. And she was like, she was very understanding of that. Honesty is the best policy, y'all, because I wasn't about to fight for my life trying to present that. No, no. But once I, like, get off camera, I'll feel much better so I can, you know, I hate, I, I call that active work. I don't know really know how to describe that, but I call it, like, super active work where I'm physically having to like talk and do things meetings filming that type of stuff it makes me anxious and I need to get it out the way so I'm doing that very first thing today and then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and I can just edit design and do whatever mindlessly with my headphones on you know that's the better version of work don't gotta talk to nobody all that I want to redo my hair I also need to redo my nails I use the vlogs to tell me how long I've had something so I don't know how long it's been. I'm about to go back and look if it's been over three weeks I'm gonna take this out I'm probably just gonna wash it and put it back in but you know I want it I want it to be fresh right now it's just here and then obviously my nails they look fine but I'm tired of them I'm tired of looking at them but this is why you get French and like nude bases and stuff because you don't have to you don't have to get your nails done because you have to get your nails done you get your nails done because you want to much easier way to live let's get to it we are in a rush let me shut up hey I just finished filming in record timing that's how you know I want to do it but I would like to be sitting down with my coffee already ordered within the next 20 minutes so I'm gonna get my memory car out of here and put this away you know grab this put it in my purse i'm gonna grab these except this is empty so i don't really know about that headphones you know the drill if you saw my post on instagram with my co-working essentials i'm basically gonna gather all of that i think i'm also gonna oh no i have my laptop so i won't need my ipad whatever we're out of here i love self-imposed deadlines that drive me insane something about it just gets me going as you can see i have on a hoodie it's fake fall and if you don't know what i'm talking about oh they making sure y'all know but it's fake fall in case you don't know what i'm talking about um it's about the the few days at the end of summer where it's actually cool enough to wear a hoodie i still have shorts on though um but then we go right back to heat waves down here it's literally like people keep talking about summer ending i promise you summer does not end here until um november 1st no cap in my rap comment down below if you agree hi <laughs> are these locals good iced yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely. do you have a favorite on that list um i really like the healthy one the peach lavender it's pretty tasty if you're into fruitier flavors yeah i'll try that awesome what size Thank do you, you want um the 16. Is dairy milk all right with you? Um, can I do almond, actually? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Good, it's just 6 15. But let me actually go into that. So like I was saying, in this description, you can you have this so you can look at these if anything else comes up. But my initial thoughts with this, I didn't include that version of it on here, but it obviously is an option if we're going with this. Let's see, headline, here it is. I have one and I keep leaving him on vacation at my mom's house because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm not today. <laughs> It's Saturday, a very good Saturday. I was out of the house early today. I was cleaning all that. Right now, I'm in the parking lot at Walgreens. I pulled over because, you know, black people always forget to write in the birthday card until they're outside the function. In this case, this is a card for my mom. Her, day, her birthday was two days ago. I know I didn't bring y'all with me to that, but um, we're hanging out today. So you're here today. I got her, I just came to Walgreens to get a bag for her gift. Let me turn the ear off. I got her um, the Pocket 3, the same camera that I'm filming on, but I got it. I had a whole different gift two days ago, but then when we went to lunch, she said that she wanted this camera, and I was like, well, I might as well get 
what she explicitly said she wanted. So we pivoted and now this is the gift. I just picked it up this morning and I had to get a bag. So I got a bag from Walgreens. I love when they have the bag and tissue combo. Like I don't have to buy them separate, perfect. And then of course I made her this card. Um, I'll explain what this is later. We'll get to that later. We're going to an event right now called Pups, Plants, Pups, and Prosecco. So we're bringing Mozzie to this event too. It's from one to three. It's a little after one right now. So and it's in Southwest, which means I should also be able to get JJ's today. I hope, I hope. Let me just throw this on the floor. I got an extra card for myself, just for my uh, safekeeping, my physical portfolio. But let's go there. I hope she drives because I don't want to. I actually can tell y'all a story now since I still got a few more blocks. And because this lady just pissed me off on threads because I shared the story there this morning. But when I was four, and I'm gonna say this in advance, if you have kids and you don't find this funny, like personally, I don't care. I totally understand that this is not for you and not your style of parenting if you're not a jokey jokey type of parent. But my mom is, and my parents are. They were also, at this time, my mom was like 25. So, you know, that's, that's the context I'm gonna give. But anyway, my mom and I were moving out of the apartment we lived in when I was like four. And this apartment, um, obviously it was in New York. It was infested with roaches. My aunts lived in the building. One lived right upstairs from us, another like on the neck, around the corner, but on the same block or whatever. The buildings were all connected. So when she was moving, I'm like, you know, I'm all in her way. She's packing boxes, whatever, and I'm getting excited. I'm mad hyped to move. <laughs> and she was like, what makes you think you moving with me? Joke it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> But I'm four, so I'm like, what you mean? And she's like, if you wanna move with me, write me a list of 10 reasons why you think you should move with me. And my mom was always like, she was super, which I'm so grateful for, she was super like, she had placed a high importance on reading and writing. It was very, very important. And so everything had to do with like, I was rewarded with writing all the time or reading. And so the way we passed time, if I was bored, get a book or write. The way we did anything, I think that was just the smart thing to do because I was reading and writing very young and I enjoyed it. So I was like, all right, bet. I went and got me a Crayola, a blue Crayola marker and a sheet of printer. No, it was um, loose leaf paper, some random scratch paper. And I wrote out my reasons. I'm gonna put them on the screen. The reasons were mad funny and I repeated some stuff. Like you could tell I'm just like a four year old kid and, and on the back of the list, I wrote, why am I not moving with you? That's not fair. <laughs> Because everything at the time when I was little had to be fair. As soon as I learned what fair was, I was like, okay, so everything that I think is not fair is not acceptable. That's just what it was. So when I wrote the list, I was like, no, this lady's crazy. Like, why would she not take me? <laughs> but it also wasn't that deep because she was making it like, oh, I'm moving and you're going to stay here with your aunts, da -da, whatever. Anyway, this lady just pissed me off because I shared that story and she is a mom of four apparently and she was like, that's so sad. And I was like, well, respectfully, you know, I hate that you don't find the joy in that, but why are you coming to me telling me, putting a negative opinion or a negative uh, connotation on an experience that I find extremely delightful? I'm, if you think there is a victim in the situation, hello, it's me and I don't care. Why my mother sitting there waiting for me? She on the corner waiting. Don't they know me and you is stuck like glue? She's the number one and two. Wifey, y'all ain't got the like me. Like where? Oh, oh it was right there. We passed it. It had a little sign outside. Moving so they could come past. So they could... Oh my God, Corey. This don't even look like a parking spot. Just park in the garage. Just park next to somebody. <laughs> this is it's Atlanta. <laughs> Drive around that way. Should I do off track mode? I don't know. Just drive next to that white truck okay. and park next to that white truck. Just park next to this white truck. Okay. <laughs> we are just park oh, next to the white road. truck. We're off road. We're <laughs> off road. Matter. We can easily drive out if we park right here. We got here mad fast. Yeah. Hold your dog. No. Uh uh. Yeah, <laughs> take your dog. Come on, Bobby. I Hold care. I care about you. He, he always woken like he know where he going. Look at those, he's cool. You know. Hi. 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 Look at the bow tie. Oh my gosh. We have, I have my QR code. Where I get mine from? Let me run to do that. Uh oh. Your email. Thank you. We got swag. Please take some swag. Poop bags, bandanas for humans and doggies. Got some treats out. Chips out for the humans. So counteract the alcohol. Love you.
Check how we moving with the vision in mind. I'm low side with my n on division with slime. Been making plays, I'm finna dish him a dime. I feel my pocket vibrating, that's your on the line. Uh. We're cooling out um, in the shade because there's no shade out here. Yeah, it's so freaking hot. And honestly, I'm not really impressed because um, we wanted to support it. We definitely wanted to support it. But it would be helpful if we understood, you know, what kind of plants that, you know, we were looking at. Like maybe low light plants or, or direct sunlight plants or whatever. And then the owner, we were waiting for her to, you know, because Corey doesn't know how to take care of plants. You know? Like she got all this light in her house and she has whatever y'all watch a bit whatever but we waited to speak with the owner but the owner didn't have time for us so now we just hot every time she come on here with a review it's negative but this is a yelp event the event itself is cool it's just really hot and there's no i mean there's music it's just not loud enough for the space and then the plant shop she's right we didn't there was no direction like you kind of got to just know the plants already when you shop in there and I'm sure the owner would have spoken to us, but then she disappeared. And we, and we never saw her again. Yeah, we never saw her again, and we really wanted to buy plants. We really wanted to buy plants, and we had questions. So we went and stood at the register thinking, oh, when she comes back, you know, we can talk to her. But she didn't come back, so but, but we'll be back. I'll definitely right, come back. Because it is black woman-owned. Yes. So we'll just have to come on a non-event day yes. and assume that, you know, it's an event. So yes, we're not getting the normal... Um, experience and she had a nice selection of plants even it was though pricey though it, it was pricey but she doesn't have a lot of plants um but they were nice but yeah <laughs> mozzie had a good time oh yeah mozzie mozzie oh so mozzie mozzie <laughs> wait a minute what is mozzie is hot why are you oh, he's okay. hot I think he's ready to go <laughs> he's hey, fed hey. He, he devoured his pup cup mozzie you see cory you see cory did you say, are you my mommy? <laughs> are you my Y'all got too much jokes. I was on vacation. Are you my mommy? Crazy. <laughs> mommy. It looked like you just Aww. bought it from the store. Mommy had it. I, I think I took a picture. Paper. Yeah, I took a picture of it. So then I photoshopped it oh, okay. to make the card. That's punchy. That's it's cool. the best card. You got me yeah. crying. It ain't even <laughs> <laughs> So much. That's what's up. I love that so much. Oh my God. Stupid ass dance. <laughs> she always do it. But what did you do when you walked up? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I got it from Corey. Because we were watching a show from when she was a child. And we still be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the tripod. This is an extra battery. So that means you can, you, can, you can videotape everything now. Cause you Basically, because she just put this in her purse. <laughs> this is the screen part oh my and you you press you see what a dent is at yeah. you put your thumb there and then it opens and then it should turn on I got the oh. and then you have <laughs> hey y'all happy Sunday as y'all can see y'all friend is back how long you staying this time you already got a toy on my couch thank you Anyway, I'm about to prep for the week ahead. I had so much that I wanted to tell y'all and I was gonna ramble, ramble, ramble on and on and on um, at this section of the vlog. But I feel like a lot of the stuff I'm better prepared to talk about next week. But basically I have some like updates and I just have a lot of thoughts. I just have a lot of feelings. What is that from? What movie is that from? What movie is that from? If y'all know, let me know. It's like a group of people sharing experiences or something and one person is there and they're just like, like they don't really belong and they're just like, I just have a lot of feelings. What is that from? It's not Mean Girls, is it? I don't know. Whatever, let me know if you know. I am about to review my 12 week year. I know for sure I've been off. I've only been uploading once a week for the past, I think two weeks, but I'm gonna try to still upload as the, the point of it was to have eight videos up a month. So we'll see what I can do, I don't know. And then of course last week, cause the power was out. I couldn't cook last week. So last week was a fail in general. This week I did my cooking today. So that's what reminded me to like, today's the day I'm supposed to check what I've gotten done for the week. Um, I know one major thing on my mind is that I'm thinking about, um, and I said this already, but like, 
I'm in my last client currently. So now I'm like, I'm really about to not take on any new clients for a little while to figure out what I got going on. So I think we should work through that together if I can, if I can ever get myself to sit down and do it. Oh, I do have something I wanna say. Almost forgot to give y'all a book update. Right now we are reading The Street by Anne Petrie. I don't know if this is considered a classic. I guess not, <laughs> but the book came out in 97, I believe, sometime when I barely knew English. This book is the first novel written by an African-American woman to sell over a million copies. Um, and it's set in Harlem and I was already hooked. I was, I was, I'm really trying to not speak so casually all the time. I was definitely about to say that I was dumb, excited from the first chapter when I could say I was very excited. But you know what, this is my channel. I was dumb excited from the first chapter because um, just the way it's written, the description, like this, this is a writer, you know? It also helps that I grew up in the neighborhood that she's talking about. And so like, it's just real nostalgic for me and I could actually visualize this stuff. I also, of course, um, started listening while I was reading and the audio book is one of those um, like immersive joints, like, when it says that a dog started barking, there's an actual dog barking. I love audiobooks like that. But anyway, I'm only uh, two chapters in, but I feel like this is going to be a banger. And it's highly rated, so I already know it's going to be a banger, but I'm just really excited to read this. So this is what I'll be doing all night. I was going to go to a, a day party today, not a day party, a cookout today. Dub. Bye. Y'all can keep it. Y'all can keep it. There'll be plenty more. Me and this book got a date. Plus, I cleaned in here. Um, my environment is just... <gasps> I forgot to get my nails done today, uh, but I can go tomorrow. I don't have anything to do tomorrow. Okay, well, if you made it this far, let's do an emoji today. Let's get puppies and or Prosecco emojis in the comments if you made it this far, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.